Okay, so we all know what the score is, so we're just gonna jump right back into it, and... In all likelihood, we'll end up finishing Assault on the Control Room here. We took care of two of the major sticky parts of the mission already, which uh, was the big open space battle, and... Um, or not... Well, open space, I, yeah, that... Getting into the tank, and... Also, um, getting into this area here. So this is rather familiar. Where another room with a bunch of sleeping grunts. Fortunately, we're not quite as hampered by the awful melee of the rocket launcher as we were... Um, previous time. So there is an elite pacing here. I was going to say, yeah, if we can manage to assassinate him without him discovering us. Much like that other room, it makes going through this room like ten times easier. Yeah, it's funny. I, like I said, I kind of mentioned it a little bit that uh, last time we were in a room like this. But like, uh, yeah, all those sleeping grunts, like their positions can be randomized. So if, like, if I would die and had to restart that room, you know, pretty much they always end up in slightly altered locations every time they respawn, which is kind of interesting. Now, these guys, again, I have, like, no good weapons for dealing with these idiots. Ugh. That's the only problem. And there's about, like... There's like a hundred of these clowns. Well, not literally a hundred, but... You know what I'm saying. There's just like a whole mess of these guys. And there's a health packet up there for me. Ah, snap. Oh, I thought that was going to cause that grenade to go up too. Yeah, I'm trying to use grenades and stuff because I'm. I'd like. I'd really love to not use up all of my. Um, ah, yeah, use up all my my rockets for something like this. All right. Yeah, and then I'm pretty sure there is a zealot elite in here. Yeah. Oh, okay. That window was already uh, opened. Now, is that Zell going to come charging at me yet? Nope. So, cooperated nice, and we were able to just uh, take him straight out. And you still have a nice, healthy level. Uh, oh, yeah. Grief with this guy. You remember there was that gonna be the elite that jumps down from that from that yeah that weird inside uh, platform up there and and that's why we left this hell packet that is chilling out in this room. So once we get done with this room, there'll be one more nice little skip that I'll want to try to 
accomplish, hopefully without um, goofing up on it. And we'll see how well it goes. Most sometimes I'll do it all right, and sometimes it kind of just uh, blows up in my face. You know these? I'm kind of surprised they're not like being more aggressive with those needles, considering this is legendary and all that. But I'm not really one to complain. Check these grunts and. Halo 2 with needles, and you'll learn to hate them a whole, whole lot more. Alright. Yeah, fortunately, you get a decent checkpoint to try this, so... We'll see, uh, how well this goes. Alright, cool, we got that, and... Take care of both those guys. Boom. Boom. So that was pretty smooth. I like that. And of course, always with these, uh, yeah, these big rooms, lots of enemies, very repetitive. And hopefully, not get blown up with needles and grenades. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what, uh, what else to really say about this mission exactly. Um, like I said, we've seen almost everything that this mission has to offer by this point. Ah, great. Um, well, I guess one thing I can talk about was uh, we had the rather unique um, two-night WrestleMania, which ended up being a lot better than I think most people would have expected it to be. Um, not to say that it was perfect by any stretch of imagination, but, you know, I think they definitely made the most of a rather unique situation, um, and there were a couple really, uh, fun little, uh, matches, the, uh, the, the Boneyard match with Undertaker and AJ Styles was rather um, delightfully cheesy. Alright. Yeah, uh, gosh. Trying to hit these guys is. It is rather annoying as we've. Uh, we've explored in the past. Okay, if you can get them to sort of stun lock a little bit. Then you can usually attack them. Alright. Uh, come on. Yeah, fortunately he's not being too aggressive in shooting back at us, so we'll be able to take him out. Yep, and then uh, as far as the rest of me, then uh, last night we had the absolutely uh, insane um, Firefly Funhouse match, which it's really hard to call that a match. All right, so this is another skip here. But I think, you know, hey, if you like wrestling all that, something that, you know, is definitely worthwhile to to watch just because like how crazy and meta the whole thing was all right so yeah we can see here we got all this uh weird stuff around here we can just kind of um sidestep 
and about a thousand grunts who they will kind of see you if you uh, Ow. Well, that was a little bit more unfortunate than I would have liked. Ah, alright. Now I just gotta hope that I don't get out piloted by this enemy banshee. There we go. And then, yeah, we can stay away from uh, other enemies who might blow us up. That would be fantastic. But yeah, if you can at least grab this Banshee here, that saves you a whole lot of time because normally you'd be expected to um, just go across the bridge there and um, yeah, there's another room over there, down there, and you go downstairs, another room, then you expect it to, like, fight your way across that battlefield and climb up this pyramid. Alright, and now, let's see, we can deal with Mr. Gold Elite here. Because unfortunately, we did grab a little extra. Yeah, we got a little extra ro ro rocket ammunition, so that makes dealing with him much easier. And, ugh. Alright. And I think it's only in. Um, two betrayals that were. Get him up here, but I don't want to double check. I, I like, man, I just did this level like a week or two ago with my friend on co op, and I was like 99% sure, yeah, it's not there yet. Um, got one of the elites so yeah this is like the last um, really tough part of this mission yeah fortunately there's not too too much to worry about with respect to that uh, rate that's going crazy over there but said I, I wouldn't uh, venture too far out into the open if I were you Okay, so now it should just have that last elite. And that was a nice graphical glitch there with uh, not showing the. Um... Alright, well, we, we're, gonna, we're done with this mission anyway, so let's, let's not uh, goof around with this guy. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Now, there's one funny thing you can do if you uh, grab the Banshee. Um, the way the last cutscene triggers, like, if you move right, you can, like, have it splatter yourself as the cutscene begins, and you'll be dead for the first half of the cutscene, but... Oh, well. I, don't wanna, I also don't want to take the risk of splattering myself and just eating a dumb death. <laughs> but, yeah, so... That was a pretty quick and painless um, end to... Assault on the control room. Um, I wasn't sure. Like I said, it's it's kind of dicey sometimes if um, I end up getting that uh, banshee on the first try. Sometimes I'll have to like like revert a few times because, like I said, it, especially on legendary, it's definitely worth your time to uh, try to grab that banshee. It makes, I mean, yeah, it makes that whole part a whole lot easier and faster. And I, at least I don't really consider that, like, a big cheat anyway. You all right? Never been so, yeah, this cutscene, I think I mentioned this, like, way back in the first video, but this is one of those cutscenes that has a little bit of those, like, 
um, imperfections from the porting job from the old Gearbox PC version. Because, um, like, I think this is... It's, well, it's either this one or the, the beginning of two Trails cutscene. Now I can't remember, but... She's supposed to... Cortana's supposed to cycle colors more yes, the forerunner built during these parts, so... Eh. <laughs> it's one of the things I kind of have forgotten about because it's been so long since I played the original uh, Xbox release of that. Um, if, yeah, if I want to oh, ever hook up my old 360 back to the TV, just dig that out from the uh, storage box I have it sitting in and, you know, boot that up. Because, yeah, unfortunately, the Xbox One discs don't work on Xbox One S or anything like that. Although, I guess, allegedly, with the uh, the next Xbox release, that might be coming back. So, that'd be interesting. But, hey, we got score. I don't know if I have... I, may, I might have already gotten the, uh, the par score tune for that, but... Yeah, 50 minutes, 51 seconds total. Not uh, too shabby. And, uh, yeah, this level is, um, well, now time for something completely different. <laughs> um, yeah, I would, yeah, don't think we'll get the whole way through this mission, but we can at least um, start this mission up a little bit and get partway through it. Um, yeah, this mission isn't very long, but, um, yeah, like I said, I'll have to wait and see, because, like I said, we spent, um, about ten minutes or so already on that, uh, last mission. And, like I said, I don't want to, you know, run into the situation where it's, like, um, yeah, where it's like, oh, yeah, hey, look, de dead enemies just sort of flying out of nowhere. Gee, I wonder what happened to them. We'll find that out later. But yeah, I don't want to run into a situation where it's like, oh, I'm forgetting about time. And, and you know, just end up with like an hour long segment because I'm not like paying attention to anything. Alright. Yeah. Let me just take that for just a second here. Just to deal with these, uh,. These annoying jackals. So this is going to be like the hardest part of the level <laughs> for a little while. Ow. Alright, you know what? Wow. <laughs> uh, it's probably the first time in a long time I've actually died at the beginning part of this level. That's kind of... Uh, Kind of embarrassing. All right, yeah. All right, time to stop goofing around. All right, yeah. yeah. I'm not taking it easy on you jerks anymore. See, it, it's like I already thematically. We're uh, dealing with a um, very different feel than we've had in previous levels. Like, you know, very ominous music going on here. And, uh, and you, you can sort of hear, like, you know, we have a little bit of a uh, distress call going on there. And you know, climbing up these uh, big slopes is... A little bit problematic sometimes and oh boy hey look we see uh enemies shooting so yeah you saw the those guns shooting um you'll never see them normally but if you um like use like free camera stuff to to sort of cheat and look around the corner um they're actually just like a cluster of assault rifles that are firing at nothing And you, but yeah, well, you get the answers for what's going on there pretty soon. All right.
many jackals shooting at us. And that grenade seemed to like vanish into thin air. But oh, okay. Yeah. Let's not get ourselves blown up. That would uh, be ideal. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm getting vaporized again because I'm like being impatient. Ah. Good grief. So yeah, as they're fighting like grunts and uh, jackals here, uh, conspicuous by their absence, our elites. But we'll learn uh, more about that mystery. Pretty darn quickly. Yeah, I'm getting tired of uh, getting killed by you guys. In all these crazy gore street uh, hallways. Like, oh, I feel the suspense. And yeah, this is like the only time I think you ever see Needler ammo. Um, sort of like out in the open. Like any other time you grab needles, they're always just. Uh, Oh yeah, the crazy marine. Hmm, I wonder what he could be talking about. Yeah, pretty much any time you need needlers, you're just uh, picking up other needlers to replenish your ammo. I don't, I don't think I ever seen like just needler ammo out by itself in any of the other games. Yeah, so everything's pretty quiet here. This is quiet. It's too quiet. All right. And, uh, yeah, we got another health pack there. We might want that later. So now here's where things are about to get real. Um... And there's like a lot of uh, interesting mechanics for how this cutscene works. Once again, if you um, use different aspects of um, like free cameras, it's like there's since pretty much like all the cutscenes are done in um, in-game engine. Like there's characters that are sort of set up in different rooms that you don't have access to. So things are kind of happening while you're there. Yep, and Jenkins' helmet. And, um, yeah, the Jenkins' subplot gets uh, expanded on a nice bit in the novelization. It's very kind of um, unfortunate circumstance for him. Um, cause yeah, this is the cutscene, it's introducing the flood, and he's one of the people that gets infected, but it turns out he gets infected by one that's sort of only, like, half alive, and, well, we got some weird graphical glitches up there. That's, that's not cool. Yeah, so it's, so he, yeah, Jenkins gets infected by, like, one that's only sort of half active, and, um... So he's always in, like ends up being half aware, and you know there's a subsection of Marines that you don't really get to see their story at all, and they're um, basically you know hold, holding 
their own positions against the Covenant and Flood forces while Chief's doing the rest of his storyline. And um, they end up capturing the Covenant ship and there's Flood on it and Wait, Jenkins ends up being captured by them. And Sir. it's a, it's a really kind of interesting okay, subsection. So, I, like I've said before, like, yeah, the, the, the Halo 1 novelization, which is um, The Flood, like, it always sort of gets a kind of a bad rap among um, Halo fans. But like I said, I, I always enjoyed it. And I, I don't think that its reputation is really deserved in that regard. Maybe there was an accident, you know, friendly fire or something. And, I, and that's like an, a what unique have, elite sprite. Um, like, it's not actually like a deet, uh, 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 not like an actual dead Very elite pretty. corpse. Friend of yours? You no, know, it's like this, this like unique sprite they created just for that cutscene there. Um... Yeah, so right. well, let's get this like one of the longer cutscenes that we've had in the game. Like the pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's about all I have. It's like really diving into this cutscene here. So yeah, this is um, the part of the game where like combat really changes. Like I said, we've been. Dealing exclusively with the Covenant up till now, and you know there's a very specific way you handle um, combat with the Covenant, but um, now that we're going to have the Flood to deal with, starting from this point on, and um, basically the this mission and the next mission are essentially. 100% exclusive of Flood. I mean, like I so said, we had a little bit of the Covenant at the beginning of this mission. And there's a little, there's a couple more Covenant forces here and there throughout the the rest of this mission. But, um, yeah, like I said, this mission's almost primarily Flood, and then the mission after this one is 100% Flood. So it's a... Like I said, it's a very big shift in um, how things are going to go. And it definitely is a big difficulty spike here again. Like I said, we had the Truth and Reconciliation, which, we're, we're, truth and reconciliation, which was our big um, difficulty spike just for dealing with Covenant. And this is where the game and whole just, like I said, it just gets a whole lot different than anything you've ever de dealt with up to this point. So yeah, we figured, well, okay, well, things aren't great for them. Um, and then there's like a, um, yeah, that's a weird uh, graphical glitch there. I'm not sure what that was about. Yeah, there's a, the thing where like, you know, okay, there's Sergeant Johnson, he obviously survives. Um, so yeah, we want the assault rifle for dealing with flood. See, so yeah, we'll be uh, definitely saying goodbye to the plasma pistol for the most part for a little while. Its um, general usefulness is going to be very much diminished going forward. So yeah, these are the little infection forms which, um, you know, come up with whatever uh, nickname you like for them. Like, you always kind of like call them floodlets and stuff. People call them like popcorn and, you know. Like, by themselves, they aren't um, a major threat. Like, they they do some damage to your shields, um, but not an insane amount, even on legendary. Um, and here we go. Yeah, their main threat comes like when you're uh, when you're out of out of shields and you're dealing with just health. Ugh. 
So combat forms. Luckily, none of them have weapons yet. But you still want to be careful because, ow! In the uh, given the right circumstances, yeah, their melees can hurt a lot. Ooh. So yeah, fortunately, they um, aren't, like I said, they aren't armed yet now. For Halo 1's purposes, I don't know. Your best weapon For attacking them is uh, definitely the um, human weapons and especially the shotgun now in legendary you don't get any kind of um, early access to the shotgun unfortunately Ow. You kind of have to wait till you can pick one up from a uh, dead flood. And believe me when I say you do not look want to look forward to uh, meeting a shotgun flood. Ah. Or, you know... Covenant. Good grief. Alright, well, at least we have some extra health. Alright, we're climbing, because obviously what we need to do is platforming. And just uh, steer clear of those guys yeah because like normally I think it's like around here like there'd be a shotgun just sort of chilling out on the floor but yeah unfortunately we don't get don't get any free favors in legendary hey it's like hey an elevator but uh, we're going down Kind of sucks, right? <laughs> and this great creepy flood theme. And here we go. Flood with weapons. Now, like I said, fortunately. Ah. Ow. Fortunately, they're not the most tactical when it comes to. Um, using the weapons and yeah this nice uh, free overshield up here so you usually don't have to worry um, too too much oh yeah I think there is I heard our uh, crazy marine yeah he just got uh, wasted by the flood You seem to uh, sober up pretty quickly. Alright. So, yeah, there's like a two way, like, you want to get over on there. There's a, a rather um, crazy involved uh, bit of like, you know, jumping on platforms, things you can do. Um, uh, it's not a very easy jump, and like, I don't really feel like dealing with it because even jumps like this are man giving me a lot of problems and great way to waste all your invisibility spectacular use of active camo yeah we need to get across here
And you know, fortunately, like I said, flood don't have quite as much um, awareness as like um, covenant enemies do. So sometimes they'll be more likely to sort of stand around and watch uh, watch grenades uh, on the ground and get blown up a lot easier. Not a guarantee, but... Hey. And yeah, be kind of careful. Because, yeah, once again, the, the glass there is, on the floor is destructible, and the flood are certainly prone to blowing that out from underneath you. Okay. We might... We might just be able to finish this mission off here. Oh, jeez. And they're, uh... They're following me into my tunnel here. My sanctuary has been invaded. Hey. And don't, uh, yeah. Don't really waste your time to, ugh, Time too much with meleeing. Because... Yeah, Flood are pretty resistant to melee. Alright, well. So we'll try to deal with these guys a little bit before we, uh... Move on. I don't want to get flanked by these guys again and die. <laughs> oh. It's so again get turned around. Okay, never mind. I'm just I was going the right way. Yeah, this is the mission where it's um, definitely very easy to. Uh, Yeah, definitely very easy to get um, mixed up and start heading in circles. I think uh, now I'm actually not sure where I'm at. <laughs> I might have done that. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, wait. Hold on. There we go. There's our shotgun. I, I kind of forgot this. They did actually put this one in on uh, Legendary. That is nuts. But, yeah, the shotgun, as you can see, is definitely a stronger weapon against the flood here all right so yeah it definitely makes uh, cutting them down a lot simpler and you have to be careful with the flood because they can and will Revive if you didn't do enough damage to them the first time around. Oh my god, no! Yeah, yeah like some your two best weapons for dealing with them are shotgun and pistol. Um, unfortunately. In uh, Halo 1, we don't get access to the sword because that is another excellent weapon for dealing with them in uh, Halo 2. You're pretty much the only Covenant weapon that's really worthwhile to use. And luckily, most 
a lot of them just sort of congregated around that uh, grenade. Like I said, they're not always the smartest. So, yeah, we're almost done with the mission here. This is Echo 419. Chief, is that you? I lost your signal when you disappeared inside. So here's a fun fact. So we see our, we got Marines around here, right? This is actually the last time in the whole game we're ever going to have Marine allies. And unfortunately, it won't be for too long because you yeah, were almost at the end of the level here. Yeah, he had a shotgun. Definitely, uh, definitely deal with him quickly. So yeah, don't worry too much about your marine buddies, because at best they're they're useful for distracting flood. So the main thing, ah, here in this particular part is you just want to, ow, well, <laughs> not die. Okay, you, you just want to. Get to the next uh, area. Okay, well, he's harmless. You can get rid of their uh, arms and such. They uh, don't pose any threat to you any longer. Okay, well, we just made a big loop there, but it's kind of worthwhile because you it's still kind of a good idea to take this section kind of um, cautiously. Yeah, I think uh, our buddies got swarmed pretty good there. Fortunately, the shotgun has a pretty ridiculous range. In Halo 1, like, it's definitely overpowered. Oh, okay. Well, more of our guys survived than I kind of thought based on uh, the way things sounded before. Alright. Now, yeah, here's where they uh, start swarming everywhere. Ow. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yes, there we go. We can see this structure here. Now, this is one of the things I forget exactly what the um, the trigger is for the end of the level. Yeah, because like I said, we got to these Sentinels here. I think it has a little something to do with um, when some of these things, how many of these Sentinels get destroyed. But I'm not 100% sure. Let's again, just uh, stay alive. Yeah, there you go. And eventually you'll get... Um, Greetings. I am the monitor of installations you're Yeah, kidnapped by Guilty Spark. <laughs> Someone has released a flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this environment. And, um, yeah, so we're not going to start the next level yet. Um, but the next level is one of those infamous levels in the entire franchise. The library. Because, yeah, the, like, the only 100% flood course. And, um, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not the most fun level in the world. But... All right, so we got, yeah, we finished up this whole control room, and we got through the entirety of uh, 343 Guilty Spark. And, uh, yeah, the next time we play, we'll be heading into the library.
but uh, first we have to watch the nice little cutscene here. So you, it's funny considering like the timeline for how long Halo's been around, just thinking about how long that uh, has been sitting out there. Because it's been like over a hundred thousand years, and just thinking about how long that is. But this is always great. Yeah, the cutscene. Hey, look, the index is over there, and we get teleported here. But we're gonna have to climb up like four stories of flood. Oh well, yeah. But yeah, so that uh, that's gonna do it for today. And um, yeah, next time, like I said. We'll have our fun in the library. All right, later, everyone.